Hey guys, this is just one piece of a multi-part course on assembling a Moho production. If you'd like to follow along with me and create a cartoon from start to finish, you can check out the course on ToonFiles.com. Link is in the description. For this video, we're working off of Scene 002, Torture Chamber Part 11. Feel free to open up this file. So far, we have the dialogue in, we have everything animated out, and we even have the gun effect now in place. So when he shoots the gun here, we have different things going on. And even though it's hard to tell, we even have a glow effect around Chad currently. So let's emphasize that effect a little bit more by creating some smoke and some sparks. Once again, like the electricity effect, I'm going to create a new document just to animate this stuff out as I think it'll be easier to do. So I'll do the smoke first. Let's just come in here and I'm gonna draw out some shapes. I'll click on the oval tool here and I'll keep auto stroke off. I'm just going to be using fills for this and we'll come in here, just create a dark gray color like so for your fill. And I'm gonna come in here and just add in some smoke just like this. I'm just gonna create a few overlapping ovals Kind of like that. And if we were to render this out, you can see it's all bunched up and looking like this. So that will be my first smoke cloud. I'll just call it smoke one. And we want to make sure we create another vector. And we're just gonna do the same thing here. Except this time when we start creating this one, let's change the color a little bit. And you could go in and use your add point tool to create different shapes for your smoke if you wish as well. I just find this one to be a little bit easier to do it this way. So we'll name this one smoke two here. Just click and rename, create a new vector. Name this one smoke three, change the fill color once again. It doesn't have to be drastically different, but I think having just different colored smoke will help here. And of course, just trying to make the shapes as different as possible compared to the others. I think something like that should be fine. And let's do at least two more. So we'll do two more smokes. So come in, smoke four. We can maybe make this one a little bit darker and just, again, come in and let's create a shape that resembles a puff of smoke. Something like that. And then one more. Oops, don't want to click on image. We want to click on vector. There we go. And name this one smoke five. Bring it up about like that. And again, just create a quick smoke effect like so. There we go. So now it's just a matter of taking these and putting them into the shot where we feel they can be best implemented. And we could even animate them out. So that way, all we have to do is just put them in and then they animate out and we're good to go. One more thing I wanna do though, before we get to that point is double click on any of these. I'll start with smoke five. And I'm gonna come in and adjust the opacity. For this first one, I'll put it to, let's say 67, hit and hit enter. Go to the next one. Your opacity here will be a little bit different. Let's go 45, hit enter. Next one, we can make this one maybe around 89, hit enter. We don't want them to be too transparent, but just have some transparency just for some variety. So 56, and then for this last one here, we can go in and just do, let's say 45 and hit enter. So now you have this type of thing going on. And we can animate these out next. So we'll start with smoke one and I'm just going to hide everything except for smoke one so I can kind of see what this looks like. And I shouldn't need much. I'm just going to go, let's say two seconds of animation. And all I'm gonna do is just raise it up like so 
And while it's doing that, I might enlarge it as well. So if I come back here to frame zero, I'm actually going to take the origin tool and place it in the center. It's gonna go up like that. And as it goes up to frame 48, we're just going to enlarge it like so. So it kind of goes like that. And then we're going to go back to frame zero and double click on smoke one in the layer settings. We will allow animated layer effects. I'm going to blur this out a little bit first, just at 10. And I want to set the opacity to 45, but we need to make sure that there's a keyframe locked down for this. So I'm actually just gonna change it to 46 and hit enter. So that should now allow us to key this out the way we want. So now if we go all the way up here, we can go to frame 48, we can change the opacity to zero and then hit enter. So it's just going to sort of fade out as it goes up. And we're gonna do the same now for these others. So here's smoke two. I'll make sure I put the origin point in the center. We're going to come in here and just drop this down like so. We can go to frame 48 and we're just gonna raise this up. And I'm gonna to try to do different speeds as much as possible and just different effects. So we'll go up about like that should be fine. And we want to then come back here to frame zero, double click. We will allow animated layer effects. We're going to make sure the opacity has been keyed just by changing that. And we can also change the blur radius here. Let's go to 14, just to add a little bit of variety from the other one and then hit enter. And then when it goes all the way up, we go back to the opacity, change it to zero. So we have that one now animating out. Just a few more here, come in. And let's just go to frame zero, make sure that we have the origin point in the center. We can lower this one as well. Double click on smoke three, make sure animated layer effects are turned on. The blur radius we can set to, uh, let's say nine. And we'll just key the opacity just to make sure. Go to frame 48, raise this up. I'll raise this up a little bit more just to have a different animation to it. We will enlarge it, double click, and the opacity is now set to zero. Smoke four, same thing, same type of procedure. Just add your origin point. Make sure you get it into position. Make sure you're on the right frame. You can see that I set this on frame 48. Not a big deal. I'm just going to select that key and use control X or command X to cut it and then paste it on frame zero with control V or command V. Then we'll go into the layer settings, allow animated layer effects, change the blur radius to something blurry. Make sure we have the opacity keyed out as well. Go to frame 48, raise this up, enlarge the smoke, come in and we're going to knock down the opacity to zero. And then we have one more here. Again, same things. Get your origin point established. Make sure you are in the right spot. Make sure you're doing this on frame zero. We're going to double click. Make sure we allow animated layer effects. We'll change the blur radius to 13. Make sure we key out the opacity. Go to frame two. We can come in now and just raise this up. Enlarge it a little bit. Go back here go to zero and we can call it a day. Now, one more thing I can do, I just kind of realized as I was going through this is I'm just gonna come back here and I'm gonna stopwatch all of these. So smoke one through five. What that will do is allow me to see them all in the timeline at once. And I just wanna come in here and adjust the speeds of these. I don't want them all to be going at the same pace. So smoke five, I'm actually just going to come in here and move it over to three seconds. Smoke four can stay at two. Smoke three, let's kick it back so it's a little bit quicker. Smoke two, we'll kind of put it in between two and three. And then smoke one, we'll also just nudge up a little bit. So now if we were to look at this, you can see that they don't all dissipate at the same time if we were to actually have them all on. So once again, you can see that they have different speeds and they all dissipate at different times, which I think will help just with the way visually this is all going to pan out. So now, 
I'm just going to save this so that way we have it and you can reference it if you want. We're going to put this into your effects and we'll name it Smoke Clouds. So now with the Smoke Clouds in place, I'm going to go back here to the Torture Chamber and let's advance here. And ow! So I think basically right after this happens, so at around, let's go 370, right before it ends, we're going to bring in these clouds. So I'm going to use Control-Alt-Y to bring in the smoke clouds. I'm just going to double click on smoke clouds, and I want to check every single cloud that I made and hit OK. So now we have these smoke clouds right here. They don't appear until that point, which is good. And we can see that they're moving in a different area. So what I want to do here is just come in and we're going to group the smokes together. So let me come back here to frame zero, right click and group with selection. We can name layer eight smoke and then hit enter. And let's make sure smoke is within the set. We also want to make sure the smoke is above Chad, which it appears to be. So now if we come back here, smoke appears right there. So I'm just going to grab this and sort of bring it over like so. And we want to reduce the opacity on this a little bit and also shrink it. So we'll come in, we'll shrink it a little bit. Double click on that group, allow animated layer effects, change the opacity to zero and hit enter. So I would say at around 390, we can try that. We're going to put it back to 100%. So double click on the smoke again, go into your opacity and change it to 100 and hit OK. So you kind of have that smoke now coming out as we finish. And we could also have the smoke occurring during the electricity effect, but I think just having it after should be fine. And just taking a look at this. Ow! That was the... I kind of feel like the smoke should be over to the left a little bit. So again, on 371, or actually it's going to be 370, we're just going to click and drag and bring the smoke over a little bit. Ow! That was the low setting. There we go. So now we have some smoke in place, and it kind of looks, you know, a little bit more dangerous, what we just went through with this character, with the electricity, with smoke emanating out of him after the effect. And so, again, that just helps build up the scene and adds a little bit more nuance to what's going on. So with that, we're going to pause here, and up next, we'll add some sparks into the scene and then we can add in that close-up of the gun charging up and finish up with some camera movements. If you'd like to learn all about character animation, assembling dialogue with your scenes, piecing scenes together, creating particle effects, and so much more, be sure to check us out on ToonFiles.com. Link is in the description.